Canada has the third largest oil reserves in the world, followed only by Venezuela and Saudi Arabia. The vast majority of Canadian oil reserves, 96%, are situated in Alberta's oil sands, where they are extracted through surface mining or in situ methods. Canada is the fourth largest oil producer and exporter in the world, with a production value exceeding $66 billion per year. The global economic dynamics of oil extraction have far-reaching and unlikely impacts. Speculation regarding production potential of the oil sands began as early as the 1800s when European settler explorers saw, wrote, and conducted initial tests in the region. Expansion of the oil sands began in the year 2000, following a sharp rise in the price of oil. Seeing the employment and economic benefits of oil production, as well as the global influence associated with resource extraction, expansion has been rapidly rising with support from the government. The boreal woodland caribou are an important ecological and cultural species in Canada and Alberta. Traveling in herds and migrating on an annual basis, woodland caribou require large amounts of remote and undisturbed forest habitat in order to thrive. Caribou are reserved creatures, avoiding areas with lots of human activities including busy roads, construction sites, and mine sites. The development of the oil sands has introduced a number of interruptions to caribou habitat. Seismic lines are long and narrow forest cut lines created by the oil industry during exploration. The lines range between 2 and 10 meters wide and are several kilometers long, sometimes following a grid pattern. These lines fragment the habitat of the caribou, allowing wolves, a top predator, to reach caribou herds in what was once their safe and densely forested homes. Woodland caribou are identified as threatened and endangered species under Canadian federal regulations, including the Species at Risk Act, passed in 2002. Under the Act, the recovery strategy for the woodland caribou in Canada, which was released in 2012, outlines that no more than 35% of caribou habitat be disturbed. Currently, the habitat disturbance of Alberta's woodland caribou ranges from between 72 to 88%. By some estimates, by the year 2040, some caribou herds will become locally extinct as a result of oil extraction. At one time, uh, the caribou helped us, and I'm, I'm thinking that at some point they can help us again by preserving some of the wild places. Hopefully, if we can influence um, industry and governments in some, in some way, you know, we'll be able to protect habitat for ourselves and for, for the caribou. Declining caribou populations also have a cultural and social impact, especially for Indigenous communities. The caribou is an important food source for the Indigenous tribes that hunt them. Caribou hides were used to make clothing, shelter, and luggage. Caribou antlers and bones were used to make weapons and tools, including spoons and arrowheads. The caribou also played an important role in Indigenous teachings, storytelling, and beliefs. We've become trespassers on our own land. We realize that we probably can't stop it all, but you know, if we could stop and slow down some of it, I think it would be beneficial for all people. What is the role of the landscape architect in this dilemma? The practices of oil extraction have introduced cut lines allowing wolves to intrude caribou habitat. Oil extraction has also brought pipeline and road construction to the forest, further fragmenting caribou territory. Perhaps the landscape architect, in collaboration with other professionals, can work to remediate the broken landscapes of the caribou using vegetation to create barriers for predators. Or perhaps the landscape architect can improve ways to reconnect the fragmented habitat of the caribou by proposing habitat bridges across a long stretch of mined landscapes. 
The Athabasca oil sands are a complex political multi-layered landscape. As designers, we may not be able to solve the entire industry, but we can propose ways to improve the situation for marginalized actors like the Boreal Woodland.